school. I'm in today, 11 years old, uh, primary 5, also from Yumin Primary School. This lesson is Analytic Geometry, Chapter 1, Basic Concepts. For this lesson, we'll just solve some questions. First, I'll give you a question. We'll need to use the... Okay, you write down the question first. Okay. Okay, so you want to find the function of the straight line, right? Yes. Okay, so this question is a two intercept form question. Yes. So first, we have to put x over negative 2 plus y over 1. This, yes. The answer for this equation is 1. So y is equals to half x plus 1. Yes. Okay, yes. And this is the two intercept form, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, so you found the function. Yes, and move on to the next question. Okay, so we'll move on to the second question where I will give you a question. Okay. So can you find the y coordinate for point R? Okay. Never use the the two point form. Yes. Yes.
So therefore that So for that you will have first O. Because uh, the M1 times M2 is a negative 1. And this, remember, it must be perpendicular. Yes, so there will be a 3 over 2. And remember, it must be perpendicular. Yes. Wait, where's your X? It'll be plus C, right? Because uh, you won't know the cons the C yet. Yes, until we find it like now. times continue so there you have remember this is actually negative three right Okay, so I need to find this function, right? Yes. Yeah. And to solve this, oh, 
and furthermore these two lines are parallel and to yeah. solve this question we have to use the two, two intercept two form. form yes so first for this because they are parallel so I have first find this right yeah So for this line one, there are two intercept for x over negative three plus y over negative four. This is equal to one, right? Yes. It can be like this? Yes. Correct. So it will be like this, right? Yes. Yes. So this is for line one. That's yes. only for line two. And because they are parallel, so this gradient is the same. And this C, we don't know. So we can use this. Right? Yes. Yes. Bravo. So this will be a 25 over 3, right? Yes. So this yes. is our C. So it will be like this. Yes. And this is the answer. Yes. yes. So I found this function. Is everyone clear on this part? Yes. Yep. Okay, okay now so we can okay. erase this and move on to the next question. And you will give you a question. Yes. Okay, so right now I will give one question for you. Yes. You will give a question for you. So you will solve the question and you will Make the question. Collect. Okay, so you can solve that question. Okay, to find the answer for this question, you have to apply the two intercept form formula. Yes. Wait. It's two point, not intercept. Oh. Okay. First, you have to put y minus three over. Okay, it's three because that here you put as y one, right? Yes. Yeah. So here is x1. Correct. Okay, and here is your y2 and your x2. Yes. y minus 3 is, is equivalent to negative 
3 x minus 3. So y, so y, okay, yes, so y will be correct, negative 3 x. So okay. this will be the answer. So you need to write a bracket. Bracket A and F. Okay, so this is the answer. Yes. Okay, so you found this, right? Yes. Okay, now you give me a question and I will solve it. Okay. And your letter? Yeah. Wait. Why the question? <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Here is three, here is four. Okay, so you have to solve this question. So you need to find the y coordinate. Yes, and remember L1, L2 over here. These two lines are parallel. So you need to use the 2.4. Yes. yes. Continue. Okay, so you use this as y1 and this is x1, right? Yes. Yes. So this will be equals to... Your y1 minus y2. Write it below, starting from here. So now L2. So the gradient is still the same? Yes. So we need to find the C.
Okay, so for that, you will sub this in, right? Wait. This one. Okay, so here. Okay, so I got it. Yes. Exactly. Okay, then I will do one. How about here? Here. If you don't give the point, I cannot solve it. Okay, so there you want to give a three. And I want you to find what is the point. Write it out. Like this? Is that right? Yes.
Yummy. Okay, by using this one, right? Yes. Thus. First, we need to find this point, right? Yep. When you find that point, you need to use this. Am I right? Yes. Correct. So this can move to the other side, which will become 5 over 3x equals 1. So x is 3 over 5. Yes. Yes. So for this, we have found this. Okay, so we can stop this in. So we'll move this here, which will become a plus. Yes. So this will actually be as a negative. Okay, 3 and 16 over 25, right? Yeah. Which we can write it as. So this is our C, right? Yes. Okay, it's correct. Okay, so is this our answer? Yes. yes. So here are still missing. E and S. So like this, right? Yes. So for this time, we mainly use the two intercept form and the two, two point, point form. form. But you need to remember this for the perpendicular. Remember, this is only for the perpendicular. Yes. Lines. And okay. and if they are parallel, what do you have? The gradient is the same. Yes. Okay, so can we... the we level, we'll use... That this is perpendicular. Yes. Yes. Okay, so can we add all this up here? And do you have anything to say? If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay. See you in the next lesson. Thank, Thank you, you for your watching. watching.